Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode seven of OmniFactory. My name is ZD Sauce, and today we have some fun stuff planned. Um, so last episode, we upped our power gen a little bit, and that seems to be working well. Um, we're not getting a huge amount more RF, but I'm hopefully going to change that this episode. Um, this baby is almost filled up, and once it does get full, we should hopefully see the um, excitation field limiter augment kick in, and then we, we, we should hopefully not be burning through lava unnecessarily. Um, I just finished up uh, smelting a good amount of steel, and then I just made some electrical steel with that as well, because we're going to need that shortly. Uh, I also made some motors and circuits in between episodes, and another thing I did was I crushed up some of the diamond ore, uh, so 32 of the diamond ore blocks that we had, I just threw in the macerator and it got this crushed diamond ore, just because I wanted to experiment with uh, how, how, how much effort it would be to actually double our diamonds, and I thought it would be a little bit easier than this, but it looks like what we're going to have to do is, probably the easiest thing to do is just make the impure pile of diamond dust with the hammer. And I thought we'd be able to just smelt that up to make diamonds, but we actually need to centrifuge that. And then we get the diamond dust, and then we still can't just smelt it, we have to actually autoclave it. So we'll, we'll need two more machines before we can actually use this crushed diamond ore, but uh, I'm sure I will get to that soon enough. Uh, so the first thing I want to do today is to work on getting this hardened upgrade kit to put on our uh, magmatic dynamo. So this just needs a good amount of invar and then a block of electrical steel. Um, but this invar gear cannot be made like how we were making iron gears and wrought iron gears. Um, how we're going to do it is actually make this mold, and then we can just combine invar and the mold in an alloy smelter, and it should make the gears that we want. Um, so we're going to need a good amount of invar, uh, so let, let's get started with that. There's actually a quest in the book um, right here called More Materials. So we already have nickel, that's just found in the world naturally. Um, but we're going to need to get some invar and some cooper nickel. Uh, cooper nickel is really important. We're going to need this for uh, to make the blast furnace. Um, we're going to need a lot of it. And that's just copper and nickel, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we can get a little bit of that going. We don't need that much uh, for this episode. But let me just get one or a couple just to complete the quest and to show you. Um, yeah, there's one. So yeah, this we'll be using this uh, to make... How does this work? I think we're going to use it to make wires. And then the wires, I think, have to get doubled, and then we can make the coils. And we're going to need 16 of these coils to make our first uh, our first blast furnace. So we're going to need a lot of this stuff. I think it comes out to two stacks of cooper nickel. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll be saving that for later, so I can just store that for now. The other new alloy that it has us explore is invar, which is just, I believe it's what? Yeah, iron and nickel. And we are going to need a lot of that. So let, let's, let's get a bunch of that going. Um, so this should give us two stacks, if I'm not mistaken, or a stack and a half, because I think we get three per. Yep, three per. So yeah, we're going to need four different gears for this, which is eight each. So that's 32 invar here, and then another four for the plates. Um, so we're going to need a good amount, but it does go quickly because it's three at a time. So I'm going to get uh, four of these compressed into the plates right now. Hey, we completed the quest. And then in the meantime, <clears throat> excuse me. I am going to take my hammer, and we basically, I'm going to need a file as well, actually. We want to make a a, a a gear mold, so the normal gear mold, it's the hammer next to it, and these are not shapeless, there's a bunch of different molds you can make, um, if, I, if I press the uses for this. So basically using tools in a bunch of different locations will get you different types of, of molds. But first things first, we need to make this empty plate. So that's just a hammer and a file above four of these steel plates. So I can do that. And then, not that, we get our gear mold right here. And I believe that's also a quest, correct? Yes, it is. So I can get my pennies from this and from here as well. And we'll be using a, a good variety of... of uh, molds for, for different tasks. It's nice for the alloy smelter. Um, okay, I'm going to stop doing this for now, and then just so we can get some of our... Oh, actually, I actually think we need 32 exactly, right? It's it's 8 per, and then we need 4 of these, and this takes a decent amount of time to smelt down. So once that finishes, though, we should have our 4 gears and our 4 plates, and we should be good to make this. We just need a block of electrical steel as well. 
cool beans. Now I can throw a good amount of this stuff away. Uh, actually, after that finishes, I'm going to. Uh, oh, nice! I didn't know I didn't I didn't have that quest. I'm going to get more Invar cooking because we, Invar is used a decent amount in this pack. Um, nice. So in the meantime, uh, completing this quest actually opens up the direction I wanted to go today. Um, one of the directions I want to go eventually is Blast Furnace Fun. Uh, this is a this is a pretty big, big one to do. Uh, we're going to need. I think this is made out of steel, right? Oh no, it's Invar. Yeah. So we are going to need a ton of Invar, and um, but the, act, the direction I actually want to go is to work on getting this first tier two circuit. Uh, so otherwise known as a, a processor, um, and that should open up getting an assembling machine, which the quest might have popped up for us now. No, not yet. But uh, I think, yeah, the quest in the early game tab. So we might complete our first early game task, actually, uh, if we do this correctly. Um, so to do that, though, we need to get a tiny pile of gallium dust. And it talks a bit about the best way to get this. There's, there's a couple different uh, approaches, but I'm going to go with what they recommend, which is sphalerite, um, which, yeah, usually spawns with zinc. Um, the only issue is, to get the Sphalerite dust, I can't seem to find a way to do it without having a centrifuge. Um, so I, I, I think what I'm going to do is just make a centrifuge. <laughs> that should be easy enough. I think we have everything. Yeah, I, I made a bunch of motors and circuits uh, in between episodes. So I think for that, all we really need to do is just make a machine casing, turn that into a machine hull, is that it? I think that might be everything, actually. That was a lot easier. And then we just got to grab some of those tin cables. Cool. We have another machine. I'm assuming that's a quest as well. Nice. So basically, the centrifuge, uh, what it does is it takes in a material and it breaks it down to the materials it's made out of. I believe that's, that's kind of the gist of what it does. Oh, wait. That's our first early game quest, actually. Um... All right, we are we are past the beginning officially. We've made it to the early game, um, but yeah. So what we're gonna want to do is basically get this impure sphalerite dust. Uh, where is it? Uh, impure sphalerite dust, which is just re uh, gotten from macerating sphalerite ore and then using a hammer on it, and then we can centrifuge that into sphalerite dust and get our gallium that way. We can also electrolyze the sphalerite dust further and get more gallium if we want to. Yeah, and that, that's that's kind of the gist of what we're going for. But first, we're going to need to macerate some of this sphalerite. So I'll throw some of it in here. Let me clear out my inventory a bit in the process. And while that's working, it looks like we have our four Invar gears, which is nice. And we have our four Invar plates. So let's make this hardened upgrade kit. And another quest complete. So yeah, it looks like this should add in an extra 50%. So we should get bumped up to 90 RF a tick, I think. Yes, so that's very nice. Um, more, like even more important though, is that we get these three augmentation slots. Um, so there's a few things we can do with this. I think uh, what we what we want to get is an XIT, no, not excitation. Um, there's a... Here it is. We want to get this eventually. We, we we don't quite have enough stuff. I think sterling silver is the main thing blocking it. Um, we're going to need... It takes a lot of power to process this and a lot of time. Uh, the dust is pretty easy to make, though. Uh, but once we get that, we should be able to make some of those upgrades, and that will increase the efficiency a lot. There's also another augment that's... Oh, yeah. Isentropic Reservoir. So this, this is really good for magmatic dynamos. It basically lets you... Uh, push water into it as well and then it like doubles or even even more it, it, it bumps up the rf per tick a ton um, but i d don't know if we can get prothium actually wow that's a lot easier to get than i thought um cool so yeah so that seems like something we can actually de definitely achieve I, I actually did not think this would be possible this early but if we run into power issues that is something we can absolutely do but we were sitting at almost 10 million rf a tick so or not rf a tick 10 million rf total and my Steam Dynamo is off right now. That's okay. I can kind of use that as an extra boost if I ever need it. Actually, since we're not using it, I might as well be a little bit more efficient with my fuel. 
Um, cool. So I'm hoping that we finished macerating at least some of this phalerite ore. And now if we take our hammer, oh, we have our hammer on us. And we should be able to just, yeah, knock that down into impure sphalerite dust. And now if we centrifuge that, centrifuge also takes a good amount of time and a decent amount of power. Um, we should be able to get our gallium that way though. And once we have our gallium, um, I think we should be good to go ahead and make our processor. And the reason we need gallium for the processor is because we need to make this diode. It's pretty easy besides that though. I just need to make some fine tin wire I don't think I have any tin wire on me. So let me just grab a couple pieces of tin and throw it in the wire mill. Oh, I'm also going to get this. Uh, oh, I'm making an iron gear. That's okay. I'm sure I will use that soon enough. <laughs> Should have taken the uh, the gear out first. Cool. Yeah, we got some gallium and some also some sphalerite dust. Just rocking through these quests right now. Clear out the inventory a little bit. This chest is getting full. Gonna have to move on to applied energistics relatively soon. Okay, get this random iron gear. I am sure it will be used soon enough. All right. Uh, where was I? So we got this stuff going. Oh yeah, we needed to get more uh, fine tin wire. And once we get that, we should be able to make, uh, let me collect the reward for here for this. We should be able to make the processor easy enough. This is also going to open up the pyro lice oven. Uh, and that is good to get some of the circuit boards that we need, um, to get, to get to our next, uh, our next level of circuits. And there's, there's actually a nice little chart, uh, that kind of displays how circuits work in Greg tech. Let me see if I can actually pull that up really quick because that, that's pretty helpful to help visualize how the progression works in this pack. Um, yeah, let me pull that up really quick uh, and I'll be right back. All right, hopefully this should work. Um, I, don't, I don't have, it's my first time actually ever s setting up my recording software to, to record something other than Minecraft. Um, but yeah, this is a nice little chart uh, that, that you can see the different levels of circuits. So, so far we've only made this tier one basic circuit and the voltage needed to craft is basically the level of assembling machine, machine that you need to make it. Um, so obviously we didn't use any kind of machine to make these first two circuits, but moving forward circuits can only be made in the assembling machine, uh, which is, which is what we're working towards right now. So once we have that assembling machine, we should be able to make all of these three levels of circuits. And the different levels of circuits can basically make more complex machines. And like you, you might need, or for a lot of like the, let's say the MV machines, we need a tier two circuit of any kind. So for a lot of the machines we're making, you might see the recipes like cycling through these three types of circuits. Um, and obviously we can only make the manual, but once we have our assembling machine, um, it's a lot cheaper to make the LV version of the circuit. So we'll be like preferring to use those. And then of course, when we have MV, that's the cheapest. So generally it's best to use, uh, like these edges, um, because you can make four or so at a time for not that many resources. Um, so the, so these circuits are preferred and then the processors are a little bit more expensive Then these processor arrays can get very expensive. And then the mainframes are even more expensive. Um, like, like, a, like this, this mainframe will probably take bunch of, uh, or a, a bunch of like probably 16 in total of these circuits. Uh, so, so it gets very expensive if you are not using the, 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 the new assembling machines. And it also kind of pushes your progress forward. Um, so I might, I might bring in this image from time to time, uh, as we progress through this, through this series to kind of show where we're at in the progression. But obviously right now we are, we are very, uh, we are very much in the beginning. All right. And we are back. That was good because it also gave us uh, a chance to smelt up all of our invar. Um, so I can put that away for now. That should be a good a good chunk of invar to, to start us off. We have a stack and a half, although we'll definitely be needing more in the future. Um, actually, I might as well get uh, a bunch of cooper nickel working as well. The alloy smelter is used a lot, so I feel like it's good to have that running as often as you can. 
Um, all right, so we got Sphalerite Dust, we got Gallium Dust, and we have our Centrifuge already. So now we want to make this diode. Um, we made our fine tin wire, we have that. What else do we need? A few glass panes. So let me just make a set of those. And then I think it's just like this. Where did our gallium go? Here it is. And then if we just, or is it the other way around? It is the other way around. If I can figure out how to do this. Cool, and that will get us a bunch of diodes. 32 is definitely enough to, uh, to start us off. And if we don't need this stuff now. Look at how many pennies we got, that's, that's adding up quickly. Cool. So now that we have our diodes, I think we should be able to jump into this primitive processor. Um, so yeah, it's going to take the diode we just made, four circuits, and then just some red alloy and wrought iron plates. It's really not too bad. I think we're running low on red alloy cable, though. I thought I had made some more covered ones. Maybe not. It's okay. Uh, I have a good amount here. Just get some rubber. Cool, and now we should be able to make our primitive processor. I'm gonna make as many as I can, which at this time is just two, but that's that's still something. And that completes the quest, and we get nickels for that one, which is very nice. And you see, you see the quest guide even hints at a little bit, prioritizing getting a cheaper way to craft tier two circuits is the goal. Um, because yeah, making four of those, uh, regular circuits by hand just to make one processor, one processor is, uh, is very annoying. So you can kind of see it's used since it's the tier two circuit, it's used for all of the different MV machines. Um, so it, it, it would be annoying to use primitive processors for all of these, but of course we have to use them at first. So with that. And I'm glad I made two, actually. Uh, we should be able to make this basic assembling machine. Uh, before we do that, though, we are going to need another robot arm and conveyor. What was that? Conveyor module? Is that what it's called? Conveyor module. I actually made a conveyor module off camera, uh, just because I was trying to wrap up some of the random quests that were lying around. Um, just thought about taking this out. Uh, so we just need one more of each. The conveyor module is pretty easy to make. Uh, I think I have it saved in here. I do. Yeah, it's just uh, rubber, tin cable, and a couple motors. So I just need one more of those. What am I missing? Cables? Okay. And then we need to make another robot arm, which is the more complicated craft of the two. So for that, we need a circuit and two motors and a piston. So I think we have enough motors. We're just going to have to turn one of those motors into a piston which we're gonna need wrought iron gears for. Now, can I use the mold that I just made to make these wrought iron gears? I can, but it's actually a little bit cheaper to do it by hand because we can get two rods per here. So I'm just gonna do it that way because um, I'm being stingy with my wrought iron. So let's make some more rods and then we should be able to use the rods and plates to make more gears in here, I have that recipe saved. We already got a screwdriver in there. So yeah, we're just gonna need one of those and then we're gonna need a couple steel rods as well. And then uh, we already have tin cables. So let me just get one more piece of steel. Let's live in over here. And I will grab these, make a gear. And if I throw everything in here, yep, I'm able to get it. Cool. And I just need two of those. Actually, I'll just do it in here and save the recipe. Um, I think this should be everything though. I think I left my circuits. Oh, maybe I am out of circuits actually. Let's see if I can make more of those. What am I missing? No, I think I got stuff to make them. Do that and if I, do this, get the tin cables. I just need to get those two steel. Steel rods, okay. 
and a second robot arm. Our work table over here is full. I, I, I was using this to craft a lot of mechanical parts for, for LV, but it looks like this is pretty much everything I wanted to save anyway. Uh, the robot arm is definitely the most complex of the subcomponents. Um, so with that, I've got two robot arms and two conveyor modules, two of the processors. I just need a machine hole. And what else? Just a couple tin cables. And this is a big moment. We have our basic assembling machine quest complete. So um, assembling machines are used all over this pack. So this is a pretty big moment. Uh, basically they let you do more complex crafts. Um, a, lo a lot of the more complex pieces cannot be made by hand and they need to be made by an assembling machine at a certain EU per tick rate. Uh, so, so all circuits, but like I was saying before, all circuits besides primitive need to be made with this. And then there's also a lot, a lot of the times there's a cheaper recipe, uh, using an assembling machine than by, than using, um, using the crafting table. So we will be making a lot of use of this and we're going to be making a lot of them in the future, but it's exciting to have our first one. It's a, it's a pretty big deal. Cool. And we get some pennies for it. And yeah, we should be able to make a lot of circuits. And clear out all this stuff. So I just want to look. So refined is the keyword for the 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 next tier of circuit. Um, oh wait, no, it's not. It's a it's elect it's an electronic circuit. Is tier two or tier one? But you need a LV assembling machine. It's kind of hard to keep track of. That's why that graph is so nice to look at. Um, so to make one of these, we are going to need. Resistors, which we have, fine copper wire, which is easy to make, and then capacitors, which we have not made yet, and these phenolic, phenolic, not sure, phenolic substrates. Um, and this is what we need that pyrolase oven for. Um, this is where it gets a little bit complicated and we start playing with liquids a little bit. Uh, we've already made this coated circuit boards. Those are pretty easy to make, but getting this phenol, uh, we need to basically, uh, put coal in the pyrolase oven and steam, which steam is decently easy to get. And that should turn the coal into coal coke and then give us a bucket of this phenol. Then we basically need to coat our circuit board with this phenol and that will make it into a, a better circuit board. Um, so that's something we'll be doing relatively shortly. And then we get this phenolic phenolic substrate and that is used for all the electronic pieces. And then, uh, like the other parts, the electronic processor uses three of those circuits and the processor array, which we haven't gotten to any of, uh, any, any arrays yet that uses four of those processors. So this array takes 12 circuits in total. Um, it gets very expensive. Something else to keep in mind is that we also need either tin or soldering alloy or soldering my, my bad. And, um, that will basically, that that's, what's used to, I guess, mash all the parts together and make them <laughs> stick together. Uh, but for that, we're going to need a fluid extractor, I believe. And that's something we can just throw an ingot into and it turns it into liquid. And then we can pipe that into the assembler. Yeah. So it's, it's starting to get a little bit complicated, but that's what, that's what I love so much about this pack. Um, so I think we we'll probably move on to next is, is trying to make our first multi-block structure, which will be the pyro lice oven. Or we could do the blast furnace. Um, I'm not really sure if it matters which one we we go for next. Um, we're gonna need a lot of cooper nickel either way. Uh, let me think about it for a second. Hmm. Then we're gonna need this cluster one to connect the capacitors. So yeah, there's a few different routes we could go. Yeah, let me think about it for a second, and and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So I think the route I want to go is actually doing the pyrolyze oven first. Um, we're going to need a lot of Cooper nickel either way. Um, but I mean, we can, we can kind of do both of them at the same time, but I, I feel like getting that assembling machine and using these new circuits, uh, as quickly as we can is, is, uh, is a good approach. I really, I really think making either of them first is fine, but I'm just going to be smelting up a bunch of, uh, Cooper nickel in the meantime. Should have four stacks, and that that should be enough for the uh, the coils for both of those machines. 
Um, but before we end this episode, I want to do a few things. And one is to make this hardened satchel, which now that we have Invar, we should be able to do that. And that should hold, yeah, it, so it holds two rows of items now instead of one. So that will make it so that I can have my mining trips be a little bit longer, which is very nice. Although I usually do get a ton of ore each time I go mining. Um, I can put these uh, nuggets away. And the other thing I wanted to do is make the fluid extractor because to use this assembling machine, we are going to need either molten tin or molten soldering alloy. So what do we need for that? Just a couple circuits, a pump, a piston, and then some easy stuff to get. So let's do that real quick before we end things off. The pump should be easy enough. We need to make uh, some more medium bronze pipes. So let me uh, compress up six more of these bronze ingots. And then we already have some extra rotors and screws and rubber rings. We have an extra motor, but we're actually gonna need a few more motors, I believe. So for motors, we just need some iron rods. I feel like we keep on needing more and more iron rods. Uh, something I'm gonna wanna do decently soon as well is make a polarizer. I think it's another early game quest. Uh, yeah, I don't think anything's really blocking me on that, but that will basically make it so that we can magnetize our rods easier than just using uh just using redstone so but for now what we have is what we have so i'm going to use some redstone polarize is pretty quick too so it's just nice to have i feel like it's easier than grabbing redstone every time and having to deal with that <clears throat> and we have yeah we have plenty of fine copper wire so let me grab some more rods with that, we should be able to make, with that and some tin cables, which are in my inventory, should be able to make some more electric motors. And then we want one of those to be turned into a piston and then one of them to be turned into a, a pump. So before we do that, we're gonna need another gear. Do we need a screwdriver for? I have the perfect amount of everything, wow. Okay, I'm gonna need to make up some more uh, wrought iron supplies though. And then we're also going to need a pump, which that's why I have my bronze compressing. And I should have everything, except I don't have uh, the proper tools. And now for the electric pump, what am I saying? We've got rubber rings, tin screws, tin rotors, these, a uh, screwdriver, yeah. Cool. So we got our pump, we got our piston, and now we just need to make another machine hole. I think we have enough circuits, right? Yep, we just need two of those circuits. Let's make a machine hole. Oh, we do need more wrought iron, actually. I'm gonna make another stack of these. Unless I have any uh, lying around somewhere, which I wouldn't really be surprised if I did. Plates, no, no wrought iron plates. Oh, we do have some, nice. Uh, what can we take out of here? We don't need the knife. These, we don't need all of them. We don't need the sheets. Okay, so we'll make another hole. So now we got the hole, these two things. So we need some glass and some tin cables. Easy enough. Make our fluid extractor. Looks like this, uh, this wall is getting a little bit full. Uh, so I'm actually gonna need to make a bit more conductive iron cable. I think we have some lying around, right? We can just make one more for now because we don't have that much more. And then we can bind this up to the four times <clears throat> and we should have power on this fluid extractor. So yeah, what we can do is basically throw in an ingot, it will extract it, make it liquid, and then we can pull the liquid out either with piping or with some kind of tank or bucket um, buckets usually probably aren't the best because that needs to be exactly 1000 millibuckets. And I think one ingot equals like one, 144. Wow. You can use iron in a lot of things. Yeah. This will give you 144 millibuckets. So usually the math doesn't add up too well, but we can make some kind of tank and that's able to just take out any amount of liquid. And then we'll have to throw that into the liquid spot of the assembling machine along with whatever parts the assembling machine needs. 
and then we can assemble things just like that. I told you this uh this machine this machine row is gonna pretty much extend the entire way. It's certainly looking that way. Um, and nice. Now we have the four stacks of Cooper nickel for next episode as well. Uh, but yeah, this is where I'm gonna leave it for this episode. So next time we're going to work on making our both our pyro lace oven, and then maybe we'll just make our blast furnace as well and have a big multi-block day. I need to think about the best place to uh, to put those multi-blocks as well. I have kind of this sub room over here. I'm thinking it might be nice if we if we tore off the roof somehow here, and then we can kind of have uh, all of our multi-block structures in here. And then there are some that are really tall, so we could we could it's like a distillery that's eight blocks tall or something. We could maybe have some kind of open roof area here. Um, we we could we could tear down this ladder and, and roof here everything, but we'll see. I think that could work out pretty well. It, it would connect nicely, but that is something we will tackle next episode. But for now, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.